Hi second graders, I'm Miss Diorio from Citizenship Academy and we are already on module three. That's crazy, give yourselves a little cheer. You're doing awesome. So today you will need something to write with and something to write on, so grab that. Come back when you're ready. And we're gonna switch gears a little bit. So module three is gonna be talking all about base 10 and place value. We're gonna be talking about tens, hundreds, and thousands. So for today, we're going to talk about how to bundle numbers to count ones, tens, and hundreds all the way up to a thousand to make it easier to count that high. Okay, don't panic. We got this. We're going to start off easy. I'm going to show you a circle that kind of looks like a clock. What I want you to do is every time I move the dot all the way around the circle, we're just going to count by fives just to practice our skip counting. Ready? So we're going to start with zero, and then we're going to count by fives. So you have 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Awesome! Just good practice to keep in mind as we start learning more about time and to keep our skip counting fresh in our brains. So now we're going to practice counting by ones. We're going to start with the number 95. Now. We're gonna count together and I'm gonna put the numbers on the screen. But sometimes a little arrow might come through. So when you see that switch arrow, you have to switch from counting forwards to counting backwards. Ready? Here we go, we're gonna start at 95. Just count by ones with me. 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. Oh, switch, now we go backwards. 101, 100. Oh, now we're going to go forwards from 100. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 100. Oh, switch. Let's go backwards. 111, 110, 109. Oh, switch. Now we're going to go forwards from 109. We're going to go up. 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117. Oh, now we're going backwards, starting at 117. 117, 116, 115, 114. Oh, switch, 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 go up. 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121. Switch. Now we're going to go backwards, starting at 121, 120, 119, 118, and we are done. Good job with that. All right, now, since we're working in base 10 and practicing those base 10 units, we're going to count by tens, starting at 60, doing the same thing. We're going to start counting forwards. When you see the arrow go switch, we're going to count by 10 backwards. Ready? Here we go. Start at 60. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 100, oh, switch. We're going to count backwards from 140, 130, 120, 110, 100, 90, oh, switch, count forwards, starting at 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 170. 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, switch. Start at 220, go backwards. 220, 210, 200, 190, 180. Oops, switch. Now go forwards from 180. Oh, we did it. Excellent job. That was hard. You got it. Okay, we're going to get into our hundreds, tens, ones, all that jazz. Ready? So. There's some sticks on the screen, but I also have, whoa, and I'm losing them, a bunch of straws. Now, I want you to pause the video and talk with someone at home. What would be an easy way to count these straws? Should I count them by ones? Should I count them by twos? Should I count them by fives? Should I count them by tens? What do you think is the most efficient or fastest, easiest way to count these? Count this whole bunch of straws. Pause the video, talk with someone at home, come back to me when you're ready. 
So what do you think? So I agree. If we count by tens, this is going to go a whole lot faster. So if I group these in a group of ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Here's a group of ten. We know this is ten, right? So I'm going to put a elastic around it. And this is a bundle of ten. One ten. Let me count another ten out. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. How much is this? Ten or one ten or ten ones. Either way. So now I have one ten, two tens, and two extra ones. So I can count these by going ten, twenty. 21, 22. That's a whole lot easier than counting one, two, three, four, five, right? It's easier when we group things, especially in big numbers, by groups of 10. Awesome. So when we group them, when we group 10 sticks together, it turns into a 10 or a unit of 10. Very good. Okay, so now what you see on the screen are 10 groups of 10. 10 bundles of 10. What this is telling you is that 10 groups of 10s makes 100. I want you to count these bundles with me to make sure. I'm going to show you how. So each of these has 10 straws in them. Let's count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if we, oops, sorry guys. If we have 10 groups of 10, we have 100 sticks. If we were to pile those 10 groups together, we have a new unit called hundreds. Good. So we have ones, tens, and hundreds. All right. So what's another way to say 10 tens? 100. Very good. Now, let's do a little bit of quick math. How many ones do we need? How many more ones do we need to get? If we have three ones, how many more do we need to get to 10 ones? Think of your 10 plus facts. Good, we need seven, awesome. If we have whoop, six ones, how many more do we need to get to 10? Sorry, if we have six tens, so pretend these are bundles of tens. If we have six tens, how many more do we need to get to 10 tens? Same idea though. Good, we need four tens or four ones, depending on what we're doing. Six tens plus four tens is what? Yeah, 10 tens, which equals what? 100, awesome job, 10 tens is 100. All right, now we're gonna get even bigger. So we talked about 10 ones equals a 10, 10 tens equals 100. Now we're gonna make an even bigger unit called 1,000. You say that, 1,000. How many hundreds do you think we need to make 1,000? Think about the pattern we've been working with. How many hundreds do you think we need to make 1,000? Let's see if you're right. There are 10 hundreds in 1,000. I'm going to show you that. So these are groups of hundreds. When you start drawing in base 10, which we're going to do soon, you're going to draw it like a square. Okay, that's, a, that's going to be your image for 100. So each of these is 100. So we're going to count by hundreds to make sure that 10 hundreds equals 1,000. Ready? Let's count these hundreds. Count with me. 100, 200. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 10 hundreds or 1,000. Awesome. So if we bunch all all together, we get 1,000. Very good, guys. So we talked about a bunch of different units today, right? We learned a couple new ones. Ooh. All right. Tell me the smallest unit. Are ones very good? We represent ones like this with a little dot or a little square, a tiny little square. I kind of like the dot because then I don't get confused. So we have ones. What are our next biggest unit? 
10 ones makes a 10. And we use long rectangles to represent the 10. And then 10 tens makes a 100. Very good. And then 10 hundreds makes a 1,000. You guys are awesome. All right. I just want to do this one problem before we get into our problem set. So take your paper out. What I want you to do is you just saw me kind of model the different units. I want you to draw this number in hundreds, tens, and ones. So what I like to do to do that is to separate my board into a place value chart. And I go hundreds, tens, ones. And then I'm just going to draw how many of each unit. So I see I have four hundreds, so I'm going to draw four squares to represent the four hundreds. I see I have three tens and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Easy as that, okay? One, two, three, four hundred, thirty-five. All right, try this one on your own. 135. Try and draw this number on your own. Pause and come back when you're ready. 297. Draw that with hundreds, tens, and ones. Ready? Okay. So when I look at this number, I see two hundreds, nine tens, seven ones. So you're going to start by drawing two squares for the hundreds, nine sticks for tens, and seven ones. Two hundreds, nine tens, seven ones. Thumbs up if you got it. Awesome. So we're going to continue through all of module three working in base 10. We're going to start by just kind of reviewing what we know about the base 10 numbers, and then we're going to get a little bit trickier with some more problems. So it's important you know your hundreds, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, and thousands. So for your problem set today, you're just going to tell me what tens tens equals, what ten hundreds equals, what ten ones equals. You're going to tell me which unit is the larger. Think about which value is the biggest, tens, ones, or hundreds. And then you're going to tell me how many is here, how many are here, and how many are here. These are hundreds, tens, and ones. And that's it for today. We'll get into more base 10 tomorrow. Have fun, and I will see you later.